the next generation of Māori and Pacific writers got to say? How has that changed over the years? And what about the pioneers of Oceania fiction? These are some of the questions that Black Marks on a White Page try to uncover and to share their new book. Please welcome to the cafe co-editor with Ihimaira and contributor Gina Cole. Yes. Welcome. 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 It is so lovely to have you here. I mean, you, we all know your works. I think Ponamu Ponamu, I studied that at school. Oh my God, no, that old, yeah. Back in the day, I'm not that old. It was like, a, it was a retro book when we studied it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you are that old. If you're really uh, but, and, and The Whale Rider, of course. Um, what made you decide to put this one together? Well, you know, Whale Rider was a book for the 20th century. So this book is for the 21st century. And it's about the Pacific because lots of people in planes, they fly over the Pacific to Europe or to America, but they don't realise that the Pacific, this gorgeous blue planet, one third of the world's um, surface is the Pacific. And there are so many wonderful stories coming out, much better stories than any that I could ever have written, <laughs> including Gina Cole's story. Wow, yes, Gina, okay. now I have read your story, and what I loved about it is that I don't think it's a story you could have told maybe 10 years ago? Was that part of the reason it was chosen? I think so, yes. It, it, um, it's a story set in the Fox Glacier Township and it's about uh, a Sherpa from Nepal who works on the Fox Glacier. It's a story about race and um, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe it couldn't have been told 10 well, years we ago. Might be, I guess if we were, if, if I was a Māori writer back then, I probably would have talked about Māori Pākehā relations. Interestingly mm. enough, in your short story, it's about you know international relationships, the way New Zealand has changed. Yes. And I guess that's what this book is all about. It's absolutely right, uh, Mike, because um, there's also a story by Anahera Gildea, which is set in South Korea. And there's also stories set in America, there's stories set in Europe, mm. there's stories set in China. So what myself and our um, co-editor, co Tina Makareti, wanted to do was to blow people's minds and show them how magnificent we were as New Zealanders mm. and as Pacific Island peoples and as Pākehā peoples because we're living and creating work all over around the world. How difficult was it to, to make these choices for the book? Because obviously <laughs> there's a lot of stories, your book's only a certain size. Um, it was very difficult in the sense that where could we stop? Mm. And I didn't really want to stop. I wanted to put Indians in there. I wanted to put people from, um, uh, from uh, other indigenous races other than uh, from the Pacific. Maybe volume two. We start. That's right. Yes. <laughs> we'll, start, we'll start with the Pacific. We'll conquer the world later. And what I love too, Gina, about your um, stories, you mentioned TV3 in here. <laughs> yes. But that makes it really local, you know, everything. You know, the, the places that the stories are set in, the, the language that's used, the, the, the scenery that's described, it's all very New Zealand. And I'm not much of a reader, to be honest. He's not much of a reader. Uh, and yeah. I really enjoyed it. And what I like about short form stories is that, you know, you can, you can pick it up, you can read it, and in our busy lives, this yes. is the perfect book, hardcover too, by the way, yes. hardcover a book to have with you. You must feel proud to have your story in here. I feel really, really, really proud to have my story in there and what I love about this book and the reason why I am proud to be one of the com contributors mm. is that it is um, a collection of stories and, and art from Oceania and it does cross over those boundaries between um, visual art and the written word and mm. it contains um, connections and it makes uh, uh, it, it's it's a sort of a what we call a talanoa, a conversation between Maori, Pacifica, and even Aboriginal writers. So it, it represents a wide variety yeah. of Pacific. And you artists. know what, Mike? We need those conversations because we're at a time in our history where um, you know our grandchildren are growing up and they're growing together, mm. and our children are really in, are connecting with the face. Facebook world, so the power of story to transcend all of those communication devices is really important. It's almost like being in the cafe. Right. Yeah. Being in the cafe, you know. Nice. I mean, we've got cooks like Gina who are cooking away there, and we've got um, presenters like myself and Gina Makareti. Mm. The and art yeah. was extraordinary too that you've yeah. included in there as well. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So we're showing what's happening with New Zealand um, in film. We have Taika Waititi. Um, we have Lisa Rehana who's been showing in. 
uh, in Venice. All of these wonderful people. So here we are with Gina and with a, a number of the writers also, all of those mm. writers who are now making a difference. Oh, yes, and, and on the picture. bestsellers list as well already. So and honestly, loved it. You need to go and get it. Yeah. Black Marks on a White Page is out right now, and it's available from all good bookstores. Thank you so much Yeah, thank much you so for much for coming us. in. Stick oh, around with the fajitas I whipped up earlier, OK? <laughs> you whipped up. Right. They're all good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>